Have you ever wondered what it's like to work in the deli bakery at Walmart? Well, as someone who's worked there for several months now, I can give you all the juicy details on what the responsibilities are. Working in the deli bakery at Walmart involves three main portions of the job that associates can be assigned to for our shifts. First, the deli portion of the job. Second, the bakery portion of the job. And third, the freezer slash floor portion of the job. Much of the information I'm going to share with you today came from my own experiences. However, there will be supporting and clarifying information from the founder of Walmart, Sam Walton, careers.walmart.com, which is an official Walmart site, and Liam O'Connell, who published statistics on Walmart U.S. net sales share in the U.S. in 2020 by product category. So a quick note, every time, I, every time throughout this speech when I refer to the floor, that just means anywhere in the store you see items for sale. So whenever a customer can walk around and buy things, that is, they're on the floor. So when I say I put things on the floor from the back room, that just means I'm putting it on the shelf. One area of the job we can be assigned to is the deli. Working in the deli portion of the job involves filling the front display, filling the hot display, and helping customers. Filling the front display involves making subs, pinwheels, wraps, and salads. Items sell fairly quickly from here, so keeping up with it in addition to all of our other responsibilities can be tough sometimes. Filling the hot display means pulling the bags from, of chicken out of the freezer, and throwing them in the oven. We have items like general sal chicken, barbecue chicken, hot dogs, egg rolls, buffalo chicken, four piece tenders, and rotisserie chicken. Helping customers is also an important part of working in the deli. When we take orders for what meat or cheese to slice and how thick to make it, we are performing customer service. One quote in particular from Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, is important to keep in mind as it pertains to this job very well. Exceed your customers' expectations. If you do, they'll come back over and over. Give them what they want and a little more. This is important to keep in mind, even from the business perspective of an employee, because the more customers you have, especially the ones that come back, the more employees the store needs and the more hours we'll get on our schedule. Another area of the department we can be assigned to is the bakery. Working in the bakery portion of the job involves baking bread, packaging and stocking bread, and performing the breakout. One of the first things the baker does in the morning is bake all the bread and put it on cooling racks. The next step in our day in the bakery involves what we do with all the bread we just baked. A fact from careers.walmart.com gives a short and concise summary of this port under the subtitle Duties and Responsibilities. Pack ready-to-sell products in proper containers and stock displays. In this instance, ready-to-sell products means bread, and all of it must be placed in the correct spots on the floor. For example, after I bake the French bread, I have to package each one in a long bag and close it with a twist tie and then put it on the shelf next to the Italian bread. The last step in the bakery involves what we call breakout, which is when we pull all the pre-cut loaves of dough from the freezer and set them up on racks to sit and cool in the cooler overnight. As they thaw, the bread will rise and the next morning the whole bakery cycle will continue. The last area in the deli bakery department is the freezer which gets lumped into this department because there is a lot of bakery type food in the freezer like cakes and cookies. Working the freezer slash floor portion of the job involves capping the bins, stocking the floor, and putting all the boxes back in the freezer. The first thing we do on the freezer shift is cap the bins. Each set of boxes is organized into a bin, which is just a section of the shelf in the freezer. Capping just means scanning the boxes with the handheld computer we have, in the negative degree cold by the way, and if the, hell, and the, if the handheld tells us to pick the box when we scan it, then that just means that we pull it off the shelf onto a cart because that means that the item is running low on the shelf. To get an idea of how many boxes we pull every day, here's some statistics. According to Liam O'Connell, who published Walmart's U.S. net sales share in the U.S. in 2020 by product category, in 2020, Walmart's net sales in the U.S. totaled $341 billion. And out of that, 56% of sales were from groceries. Now, even though there are other departments that deal with putting food on the shelves, such as the produce department, a lot of the food actually comes from the freezer, like cupcakes, bread, and pre-made burgers. The next step is taking the boxes we pulled and stocking the floor. Every item has to be labeled and put in the right place. We always have to make sure that the item is has the earliest expiration date in the front or on the top. The last part of the shifts involves putting all the boxes back even though we didn't empty every box completely, it's still a lot of stuff to put back in the freezer. Working in the deli bakery at Walmart means we can be assigned to do any of three portions of the job when we arrive for our shifts. 
First, the deli portion of the job. Second, the bakery portion of the job. And third, the freezer slash floor part of the job. Now you know what people do in, the, in my department do for work. Lots of different things, depending on the day. Next time you go buy something, just think about how many people it took to get that item to you in your cart. Kind of crazy, huh?